Solar by Green Greg here. You know, normally in this channel, we talk about solar, but we also talk about energy efficiency. Energy efficiency is a great way to lower your electric use and save some money. So today, we're talking about heat pump hot water heaters, also known as hybrid hot water heaters. Both those terms mean the same thing, and I'll be using those terms interchangeably. So this is a Ream 65-gallon hybrid hot water heater performance platinum. So you may be wondering, well, what is a hybrid hot water heater? So a hybrid hot water heater, again, also known as a heat pump hot water heater, it's a hot water heater with a heat pump here on top. This top foot and a half is a heat pump. And so just like a heat pump for your home, it takes hot air out of the room or the garage and use that hot air to heat the water. And so this is more energy efficient than a normal electric hot water heater or gas hot water heater. So you may be wondering, who should buy a heat pump hot water heater? Well, if you have high electric rates or you have moderate to high hot water use, a heat pump hot water heater is definitely worth considering. And heat pump hot water heaters work particularly well in mild to hot climates. Again, because if you have in a hot garage, for instance, or hot attic, it can use that heat to heat the hot water, and it will take heat and humidity out of the air and help cool off your home. So you may be wondering, you know, where's the best place to put a heat pump hot water heater? Well, like I said, preferably in a hot climate, such as a garage or an attic, uh, or any other area that's hot. Now, by the way, if you do have it in a closet, it's okay to have it in a closet, but it needs to be a louver door because this does have to breathe. It has a vent on the side. Um, or you can duct it to the outside air. So you may be wondering, you know, how many square feet do you need for a hybrid hot water heater? You know, this varies a little bit, but again, a garage or basement is be perfect or roughly a room that's, say, 8 foot by 12 foot with an 8 foot ceiling, just give you a general idea. Or, again, there is a duct kit if you duct this to the outside here. So you may be wondering, well, can you run out of hot water with a hybrid hot water heater? Well, the first hour rating is very similar to an electric hot water heater, which is 60, and a little bit longer than a gas hot water heater. Uh, you will get your first bit of hot water in the first 15 to 20 minutes or so. So it's pretty similar to an electric hot water heater. Now you may be wondering, is Rheem a good brand of heat pump or hybrid hot water heater? Well, first of all, you know, Rheem is number one in hot water heaters. And Rheem introduced the first heat pump hot water heater back in 2009. So they've been doing this a long time. I believe a lot longer than many other companies out there. So I can also tell you, I have customers with Ream hybrid hot water heaters and they've been problem free and uh, have saved my customers a lot of money. Um, the hybrid hot water heaters are available in 240 volt 30 amps as well as 120 volt 15 amps. So you may be wondering what the tank capacity is well, these come in 40 gallon, 50 gallon, 65 gallon, and 80 gallon capacities. Now this one here is a 65 gallon. However, a 50 gallon is most popular. So maybe wondering how to size a heat pump hot water heater. Well, I would size it up one size up from your current size. So if you currently have an electric water heater that's 240 volt, 30 amps, which most of them are, I would go up one size. So if you have a 40 gallon tank now, I would go to a 50 gallon hot water tank. If you have a 50 gallon hot water tank now, I would size up to a 65 gallon tank. Now, if you have a gas hot water heater or you're gonna get the 120 volt model, uh, 15 amps, 120 volt model, either of those two things, I would size it up by two sizes. So if you currently have a 40 gallon that is uh, 120 volt or you have a gas hot water heater 
I would go to a 65 gallon, and that'll give you some extra buffer of hot water. Um, and also, just in general terms, a 40 gallon tank is good for roughly one to two people. A 50 gallon tank is usually for like two to four people. A 65 gallon tank is good for five, six people, or even more. So again, it all depends on your hot water use, of course. And so you may be wondering, well, will you ever run out of hot water? Well, first of all, I should mention that heat pump hot water heaters do have a backup electrical element. Um, but also, if you do have a high demand, such as, let's say, for instance, you invite a bunch of family over and they're staying with you, um, this does have a high demand mode, and I'll show you how to set that in a little bit. So, no, I have not experienced any homeowners who have run out of hot water. So you may be wondering, how difficult is it to operate a hybrid hot water heater? Well, it's very simple and easy to set it and forget it, but I'm going to go over with you right now. Okay, let's go over the operating modes. So you'll notice that right now we have the set at energy saver mode. This is the mode that comes uh, when shipped from the factory. And I recommend for most people to keep it on this mode. The energy saver mode operates the compressor and the electric heat elements and results in water heater performance that meets Energy Star requirements and helps save you money. The heat pump operation will be maximized and electric elements will be minimalized for the most savings. Okay, by pressing mode, we get the next setting. The high demand mode, this mode will maximize the performance of the water heater while providing good energy savings. It will run both the heat pump and the electrical element at the same time to provide the most hot water. Okay, we press the mode button again. The heat pump only mode will only run the heat pump only and not the backup electrical elements. This mode will minimize power consumption but in certain cases may result in less hot water or longer time to heat the hot water. However, it might be suitable if you're in a really hot climate. It could help you maximize savings. The next mode is electric only mode. This mode should only be used in case the heat pump needs to be serviced, then the electrical element only will be operating so you can still have hot water. However, this will also consume the most electricity. So again, you only want to operate this if the heat pump needs to be serviced. It's a way for you to continue to get hot water. And finally, vacation mode. If you're going to be away from home for a long time, you could turn on the vacation mode. And what this will do is this will minimize the power consumption but still maintain your tank at 82 degrees, so you don't have to worry about uh, freezing. But again, normally you should have it set at the energy saver mode most of the time. And usually just sit there and forget it. And then lastly, you can adjust your temperature with these up and down arrows, okay? Uh, the normal setting's about 120 degrees, that's normal. I don't recommend out of the 120 because you or someone could get scalded, uh, but 120 is a normal temperature uh, to wash your dishes, etc. By the way, there is an app available also, and this will give you um, some alerts in case you have any leaks or energy uses report or if you want to do daily scheduling. So you may be wondering, you know, what the warranty is on the hybrid hot water heaters. They're 10 years, and you might be wondering how long do they last. Hybrid hot water heaters last between 13 to 15 years with proper maintenance. Do hybrid hot water heaters need maintenance? Yes, like all hot water heaters, they should be maintained. Um, so all hot water heaters should be flushed at least annually, especially if you have hard water like we do here in Florida. You know, uh, hard water has a lot of lime, calcium, and rust. And when that sediment sinks to the bottom of your tank, um, first of all, it makes your hot water tank less efficient. 
and also your hot water will be dirty. And lastly, and probably most importantly, that sediment sitting at the bottom of the tank will actually cause the tank to uh, rust out prematurely, and then you have to buy a whole new tank. So do flush your tank at least annually. The other thing is, just like all hot water tanks, this does have an anode rod to help resist corrosion. And those anode rods should be replaced about five to six years roughly. And lastly, this hybrid hot water heater does have a filter screen that should be cleaned once in a while, but it's very easy to do. Overview of the plumbing. We have the condensation line here for the heat pump. This must go either to a drain or to outside. You cannot share this line with an air conditioner or other heat pump. It has to be a dedicated line. Here you have your pressure relief valve, just like you do on other hot water tanks, okay? Next to it is a hot water hookup, the water coming out of the tank, that's hot water. And then here on the bottom, the cold water intake and the drain, okay? So that's with the side connections, okay? Now, there is a also a top connection available for the hot and cold. Do heat pump hot water heaters cool your house? Yes, they do because they take the hot air and humidity and they expel out cooler air. And like I said, these would be best suited for a hot room, such as a hot garage, hot attic, but basements are also okay as well. So you may be wondering, you know, how much does a heat pump hot water heater cost? Well, this varies based on many factors, such as the gallon capacity, uh, the complexity of the installation. So, for instance, changing from a gas hot water heater to a heat pump costs more. The local labor rates, for instance, are some factors. But in general, you know, about two to $5,000 is a normal price range for a heat pump hot water heater, including installation. Now, I know that may sound like a lot of money. However, there are rebates and tax credits available. With the Inflation Reduction Act, get up to $2,000. There also may be state, utility, and local rebate programs. And I'll leave a link in the description and pinned comments so you can see what's available in your area. But take a huge chunk out of the cost of switching to a heat pump hot water heater. So check it out. Again, I'll leave that in the pinned comments and the description for your reference. And so you may be wondering, is a heat pump hot water heater worth it? Well, again, there's a lot of factors, such as how much hot water you use, as well as the climate and your electric prices or gas prices. But what Energy Star says is a family of four can save roughly about $550. And over 10 years, not counting inflation, that'd be $5,500. Uh, but we all know that electric rates are increasing as well as gas rates. So when you factor in inflation, it could be a lot more than $5,500. If I had to generalize, I would say a heat pump hot water heater can pay for itself in roughly about two to five years. Again, depending on the cost of the water heater, um, your local electric or gas rates, and your hot water use. Is a heat pump hot water heater less cost to run versus a tankless hot water heater. You know, tankless hot water heaters can be great, but they still use a lot more energy than the heat pump hot water heater. So if possible, um, I would suggest looking at a heat pump hot water heater. Okay, so you may be wondering, okay, all this sounds great, Greg, but what are the cons to a heat pump hot water heater? And now a word from our sponsor, Solar Reef. How much money are you losing with dirty solar panels? Dirty solar panels severely reduce energy production. Contrary to popular belief, rain alone isn't enough to keep solar panels clean. Dirt, pollen, salt, and bird poop can build up quickly. Introducing Solar Reef. Solar Reef is a DIY solar panel cleaning system. Solar Reef uses 200 powerful water jets, ultra soft bristles, and solar water capsules to remove stubborn dirt, grime, pollen, and bird poop leaving your solar panels clean and sparkling. Ultra soft bristles ensure your panels remain scratch free. A 12 foot pole is included for easy reach, an optional 20 foot pole is available. 
Clean solar panels means more energy and more savings. Solar Reef, the DIY solar cleaning system. Order now with promo code GREENGREG for an extra 10% off. See the pinned comments. Solar Reef. Okay, so you may be wondering, okay, all this sounds great, Greg, but what are the cons to a heat pump hot water heater? Because let's face it, everything has cons, right? So first of all, a heat pump hot water heater, again, we've got about a foot and a half on the top. So these are taller than a normal water heater. You'll have to make sure you have enough room. The top part of this tank, we have two vents. This is the exhaust that expels the cooler air. And then our intake, is at the top over here. This is our intake. So you have to have at least six to eight inches here on top so this can breathe and pull in the air and exhaust it back out the side. Okay, so keep that in mind during install. Um, the other con is, like I said, you need space because it needs to breathe and take in hot air. So you need to have a garage, basement, attic, or a room that's roughly about eight foot by 12 foot or larger, so it can take in hot air. Um, now, another option is um, you could duct it to the outside so it can breathe air that way. If your hot water heater is in a closet, you could have a louvered door so it can breathe that way as well. I'll leave a link to the installation guide in the pinned comments and the description. How loud is a hybrid hot water heater? Well, you know, mostly it's fan, white noise, and I would say it's about as much noise as a dishwasher. I'm actually running this hybrid hot water heater as I talk to you. So they are extremely quiet. Does a hybrid hot water heater work in winter? I was told that yes, they will work in colder climates. Um, they will work in climates as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But keep in mind that the colder it gets, the less efficient it gets. Because remember, it's taking heat out of the air to heat your hot water. So it is more efficient and mild to hot climates. Um, but again, it does have a backup electrical element. So in case the heat pump cannot heat the water enough, the electrical element will be able to heat it uh, sufficiently. So I hope you found this video helpful. Hey, if you want to know more about Ream Hybrid Hot Water Heaters. Hey, I have a special discount for my audience only. So check out the pinned comments for more information and for the discount code. So hey, don't forget about our sponsor, Solar Reef. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments and use the promo code GreenGreg for an extra 10% off. Thank you. Solar by Green Greg here, and on this channel we cover home solar PV and battery, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without a clickbait or sales talk. Listen, I've been in the solar industry now for 17 years. So I know all the tips and the tricks and gimmicks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you. I now know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to get information, right? If that's you, you're just trying to get information, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Here's the next video. Bye-bye for now.